This is the Getting Into Alignment podcast. Here we play in the quantum world of possibilities. If you desire it, you get to have it. My name is Alexa Ray Smith. I'm a business coach and spiritual teacher for women in business. I'm here to help you unlock your personal power and tap into your magnetism so that you can manifest the most incredible life for yourself and build the business of your dreams. These episodes will help you plug into the energy of infinite potentiality and teach you the tools you need to play in this world where limitations don't exist. On this podcast, I'll be talking to you about energetics, mindset, embodiment, spirituality, money, and business. Everything that you want is on the other side of you getting into alignment. Hey everyone, how are you doing? I am literally so fucking excited for 2023. I just took a nap, so my hair looks crazy, my makeup is all over the place because your girl has been healing like, whoa. Last year was the year that I dedicated to my nervous system, to regulating my nervous system, and I am telling you that was the key that unlocked so much happiness, freedom, calmness, ease, joy, like everything has gotten so much easier for me. And one thing that I wanted to come on here and talk to you about is the biggest mistake that I made in my business for the first year or two years. And the biggest mistake that I see a lot of women that I'm coaching recently, women that are newer in business, women that are transitioning into business. And I find that And I know this to be true, but the more I do this work, the more consistently I find this to be true is yes, the strategy is important. Yes, you need to have a strategy. Yes, it's important to understand what's going on in the coaching world and to make sure that you're innovating and staying on top of things and creating things that people are actually interested in. But what is so much more important than that is your energy and your mindset while you are building the business, while you're building the programs, while you are showing up, especially when you don't have a hot hot audience yet, especially when you don't have a booked out business, especially when you're not hitting those high income months that you're desiring to hit yet. Because it's not that you're never going to hit them, it's just that your energy and mindset while you're doing the things is truly creating the results. And there's something to be said about understanding that you want these big results, but still moving and acting from a place of scarcity. So yes, you might really desire to have those really high figure months, whatever it is, the 10, the 20, the 50, the 100K, whatever you're really desiring to hit. The version of you who is making those high income months, she is not operating with the same mindset and energy that you are currently operating from. And what I mean is typically when you are at the beginning of your business or when you haven't really gotten to where you want to be in your business yet, it's because you're continuing to move at your current level of understanding and you are continuing to move with your evidence. So you see that your posts are getting five likes and so you're like, oh, nobody wants to buy, nobody's engaging. Or you see that it looks like nobody's clicking on the link to buy your program and nobody has purchased your program yet and you're like, oh, it's not working. I worked on this for so many months and no one's gonna buy. What ends up happening is we're so quick to do the thing, whatever it is, make the program, talk about the offer, whatever, And then the second that the universe doesn't automatically give us what we expect, we wanted five clients right away. We wanted to make 10K in the first hour. Like whatever our unrealistic expectations are because we really have become so entitled in the coaching world because we know that anything is possible for us, right? And so we just want to have like the highest thing possible now, but we're not willing oftentimes to do the work to get us there. 
And what that means is by detaching from the evidence. You have to be able to detach yourself from the current evidence you have in your life. Because if you don't ever do that, you're going to keep getting the same results always and on repeat. Because the way you get different results in your business is by changing your energetics and your mindset now. When you decide that your business is going to work no matter what, that decision has an energetic backing to it. And when you make that decision and you launch the program or you release a mastermind or you talk about some new offer, you are not going to be looking at whatever evidence is showing up in your reality to determine whether that result is happening. That's what somebody does when they're still in a lack and evidence-based mindset, vibration, frequency, energetics. And that's what I see is derailing, like literally derailing most people. And it did for me too. For so long because I kept being like, oh my God, I'm going to put all this work into this program. I'm so excited. It's going to change people's lives. And then I released it and it was like crickets. And then I was like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. No one's buying for me. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. And then because I got into that vibration, that frequency, I would unplug. I would stop talking about my offer. I would stop showing up online. I would start believing that it wasn't going to work. All of the work that I did on my mindset and my energetics while I was creating the thing would tank the second that it was released and people weren't buying or people weren't whatever I expected the result to be and I wasn't getting. Here is the thing, and this is a question that I get asked so much when I'm coaching women. They're like, Alexa, how do you hold the energy when no one has bought? Yes. Yes. How do you hold the energy when? How do you hold the energy when? And it's always, how do you stay energetically aligned with the, resu- with the desired result without anything in your external circumstances changing to prove that it's happening to you? That's how I hear that question because that's how that question is actually broken down. And that means by you holding the energy. The question that you're asking literally has the answer in it. How do you hold the energy, Alexa? I hold the energy because I am the leading energy. I decide how my reality and my business goes for me. Because I am deciding this, no one else gets to decide for me. Not the lack of likes, not the lack of engagement, not anything. Because if I'm not seeing the results that I desire in my reality yet, It's because I need to keep holding the energy longer because I haven't been holding that energy and that mindset long enough for the universe to catch up with me. So if every time you make a decision and then you look at the world and it's not matching up with you, you unplug and you no longer are deciding that isn't actually a decision. That's the thing. That's why a decision requires energetic backing because you can't just say that you've decided something and not actually change how you show up, the energy that you're embodying, the frequency you're at, the actions you're taking. If you are not changing who you are on the inside, then you're always going to go back into that lack-based thinking where you're waiting for the evidence to prove that you can feel like that. Do you understand why your reality is never catching up? Because you're constantly going back and forth. You're saying, I've got this. I'm holding my energy. I'm the best coach ever. I am going to change people's lives. And then the second nobody buys, you go, oh, I suck. Nobody's going to buy from me. What am I doing? I was such a, this is such a mistake to leave my nine to five. You are the leading energy. If you can't hold the energy of your desired result, then there's two options. You either play with holding that energy, you work on regulating your nervous system, you work on rewiring your mind, you work on recoding your cellular DNA so that way you can hold that energy, or you take honest inventory and say, wait a minute, was I a little too entitled there? Did I reach for something that might have been a little too unobtainable for me at this current moment? And that's okay, because when you understand what you're able to hold, then you're able to manifest things that are in alignment with that. And you can incrementally hold your energy higher. But I see so many women taking themselves out of business. And I see so many men taking themselves out of manifestation because people don't understand the energetic mastery that is required for you to consistently manifest or for you to have unrealistic results in business. Because manifestation cannot be your business model 
But if you have a business model and you have a business, manifestation can help fill in the rest. And that's why I am so like hesitant to try and tell you and teach programs about this is how you create offers and this is how you do this. Because when I tell you this is how you do this, people forget that the invisible factors are your energetics and your mindset always. Who you are in every moment of your day can't be faked. You can't just come online and go on live 10 minutes out of the day and act like you're some person that's got this great mindset and this great energy, but then as soon as you shut off, you are like not cleaning up any of it. If you're still working on cleaning up your energy, then that's fine, but you need to understand where you're at. And the questions that I get asked so many times, and I can tell whether these women are going to make it in business or whether they're not going to, quite simply, one, by the questions that they're asking, and two, by the mindset and the energy that they're coming in with. There's only, like that old adage that says you can only lead a horse to water. This is what happens when I start coaching women. And this is why I like to give free Voxer experiences every once in a while, just so I can gauge where people are at. Because I let in people that I wouldn't let in in my world if there was an energetic investment because my energy would get drained. And the people that do not understand the mindset and energetics of it are the people that are so stuck in this vibration of lack that it's like almost impossible to get them out of it because you have to be the one to get yourself out of it. And I'm that woman that like, I'm not going to go there with you. I'm not going to entertain your stories of lack. I'm going to call you out and I'm going to call you out quite clearly. But I find that so many women are approaching business and they're not actually thinking about this. They're not thinking about the mindset and the energetics that they're going into it with. And they're also not checking in with this consistently enough. In my world, it's always coming back to how am I creating this? How am I allowing this? Where am I making space for this in my reality? If you are not ready to take ownership of everything in your life, good, bad, ugly, and beautiful, then you're not ready to fully unleash your power and to be fully coached. The women that desire these out of this world results, the women that desire to have consistent 100K, consistent 400K months, these are the women that understand that the energetic realm is where you have to play first. When you hear me talking about cleaning it up, I'm talking about cleaning up your mindset and I'm talking about cleaning up your energy. Because if you can't get these two things in alignment, it doesn't matter what action or how much action you take. Lack meets lack always. Lack, 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 lack. And there's so many women trying to create these abundant businesses stuck in lack. And I'm telling you, the first thing you shouldn't be doing is how to do more. It's always going to be, how am I creating this? What are the beliefs that I have that are supporting this in my reality? What is the energy that I'm going into this with? And that's why I teach you how to reverse and I teach you reverse energetics in alchemy of manifestation because your inner world is creating your outer world. Like I literally laugh so hard because on TikTok right now, there's all of those videos about I'm the luckiest girl in the world and everything's always working out for me. And everyone's like, oh my God, it really works. And I'm like, hello, hello. Have you been listening to the manifestation teachers like me for years that have been telling you that you create your reality and your words are a vibration that the universe picks up on and gives back to you? You are always creating your reality with your words, with your thoughts, with your mindset. And this is a feedback loop. If you do not understand how to master this world internally, it doesn't matter. The outside world is always going to keep taking you out because you haven't mastered yourself. And self-mastery is the key to manifestation, to happiness, to success. You are the one factor that is consistent. So are you being the version of yourself that gets what she desires? Or are you being the version of yourself that's out of alignment with what you desire and you're hoping and wishing from an energy that is separate from that thing because this is the majority of the work right here and this is what I find so many people aren't willing to do and then they wonder why 
they aren't successful in their business and they wonder why they can't manifest. And I'm always going to ask you, what's going on inside? What are your thoughts? What are your beliefs? What are the stories that you're telling yourself? What is the energy that you're vibrating with? Where are you at energetically? Where are you at in your mindset? If you're not where you want to be yet, like having that self-awareness and that discernment is the first step. Now you need to make a move. Does that mean hiring a coach? Does that mean getting into a program? Does that mean working on your own energetics? Does that mean working on your own mindset? What is the next move for you? You know what it is, but you need to make a move. That doesn't mean investing money, but it does mean doing something because moving is how we keep the energy going. And I want you to be able to keep moving, to keep growing and to keep expanding and to be able to do this and show up in the highest, most potent energy. So that way you're magnetizing people into your world because it is all of these things. But we need to stop looking at like the shiny money balloons and start looking at yourself and doing the internal work. Is it sexy? Fuck no. Is it the best work you'll ever do and the only thing that really actually matters? Fuck yes. So if you're ready, there are so many ways to get into my world right now. Like, I don't even know. We're just popping off like crazy because I regulated my nervous system like, whoa. So offers are just coming out. If you want to get into my world, there are so many ways right now. But if you're not ready, then that's fine. And you need to start working on your mindset and your energetics. Outstanding. Oh, I'm so glad you found it to be outstanding. This is it. Like, this is the key to everything that you've been desiring. Work on it. Implement it. You need help. You know where to reach me. DM me. Bye. Love you. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you're ready to go deeper and to get into my world, you can go to my website, alexaraysmith.com. You'll find all of my current programs on there. If you're desiring to get mentored by me, then the best thing to do is shoot me a DM on Instagram and we can talk about mentorship options and which one's the best fit for you. If you're absolutely loving this podcast, please go rate it five stars and let me know why you're loving it. This will help me share the podcast with more people. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. And until the next episode, keep manifesting the most incredible life.